Now, so many of us want to improve that quality of our strike with our irons, and that's all associated with impact. So Robert's asked a question here about impact with irons, and I'm gonna give you everything you need to know. God, you're gonna really enjoy this one. For me, it's a little bit of a game changer. No matter your age or ability, you will definitely strike your irons so much better. So hi, I'm Alex, welcome to the channel. I'm a PJ Gold Professional and Top 50 Coach. Let's get into the video. Now, why do you want to improve the quality of your impact position? Well, it's going to help you find the center of the face a little bit more often. With irons, it's going to help you hit down, which creates a better strike. It's also going to help you create a little bit more height and spin. This is exactly how I would say the pros think about their impact position. I don't know why we aren't too. So by the end of the video, I want you to see that you're going to get a strike down. There'll be a lot more pressure and there's gonna be a lot better feelings. By the way, this is 16 here at Motram Hall. We've got a tour school here in a few weeks, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be one of the par threes on the golf course, which will take its toll. I do not want that back. That was like a bullet. Woo Dancing, and ha come here, have a look at that strike. Take note, this is what we're looking and what we're wanting to achieve by the end of this video. Now, this is what you need to know at impact. As we're coming into that golf ball, we want to have our hips a little bit open as point one, okay, just like this. And I just get golfers, when you come to a lesson, is just to leave the golf hole where it is, put your hands as I'm doing here, and just literally practice turning those hips, okay? Remember, this is what we want to do coming into impact. Now, point number two, and there's three points to this bit, is where do we want our weight? Now, if I said to you, if your weight was on your right side, look how my club and hands are behind the ball and leaning upwards, okay? Look if I push my weight to my left, how this makes a little bit more of an attractive position in terms of hitting down, in terms of club. Okay, so if we combine point two and point one together, hips and weight, look where our hands go. This is starting to look like an attractive impact position. Hips and weight. So if I said to you, belt buckle to target is our hips and weight 70-30 towards our lead side, to our left side for a right-handed player, our right-hand side for a left-handed player. Wow. My hip mobility is not very good that way in comparison to that way. You can tell I do that too much. And our final point here is point number three, is I say this, logo of our glove to target. You combine all those three points into here, look at this position. Exactly what we're looking to do coming into impact. Hips open, weight on our left hand side, hands ahead. That for me is the recipe every golfer needs to think about and what we're looking to achieve. Right, I, I really want to take on this shot again. We've got one on the green. Can I get all three shots on the green? This will be number two. By the way, I have chosen five iron here. It is right on the limit between five and four for me, but we're going to give it a go again. Here we go. Oh, that is a honey of a hit again. Go! Go! We are on the right fringe, not quite as good as the first one, but again, look at those divots. That's what I'm thinking about in my head. Weight, hips, hands, final bit. So how are you gonna bring this into your game? You've got the why and the what, this is how. Okay, I've got two tee pegs and my alignment stick jammed up against them just like this. You could also use the edge of a driving range mat, or even you could use the side of a tee marker. What you're looking for is just a little bit of a flat surface. So nice and simple, let's think about this logically. I've addressed that alignment stick here. If I wanna put as much pressure on that alignment stick downwards as I can, how would I do it? Well, even with a split grip, I'd do that, wouldn't I? I'd have to put pressure down that way. Now that's starting to look again like an attractive position. If I wanted to put even more pressure, I'd open up and put weight left, okay. So if I said to you, this is our pressure drill where we can get a feeling of this at impact. Weight 70-30, hips open, logo to target. 
So you're getting a dynamic position, no matter your age, no matter your ability, and I encourage everybody to do this, and you're also learning to square that face. That's for me why I really believe for your irons, for your, I've got a five iron here, for your long irons, your medium and your short irons, it's a very much a game changer. So a great way to bring this into your game is just grab that golf club in your glove hand. Address the alignment stick, okay? And have a go at thinking about how do I get that club face square impact and flush up against that alignment stick as I have here. If you do it first time, and our club face is a little open, don't worry, have another go. If you do it another time and it comes a little bit closed, don't worry. Keep having a go to where you put the recipe of your hips, your weight and your hands all in one. Now that's what we're looking to achieve, some great pressure down on the ball. Okay, it's now time to hit one away. I've got one and a half on. Can I get the last ball on? <laughs> Ace cam is live. Go on. Oh, that's still about three feet. That is the best shot I've hit with a five iron in a very, very long time. Thanks so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.